So let's start with a simple scenario. Bob is located in Canada and he has customers or friends in Miami. So let's give Bob a local Miami telephone number. And this number is selected from a previously purchased number. And we add a person. Configure that person. The name is Bob. Give Bob a mobile connection. Enter Bob's mobile number. And enter a unique name for the contact method. And now by clicking and adding a cable, we have a very simple system. A local Miami number connected to Bob's mobile in Toronto. Now as soon as the cables are connected, the system is active and the calls will be passed directly to Bob. Even if you close your browser, the system is active and the call flow is preserved. Now suppose Bob would be like to be contacted in his Toronto office. What we can do is we add a contact method, now it's a landline. We enter Bob's uh, local phone number, enter contact method, and now you can see Bob can be contacted on a mobile and on his office phone, and the phones will actually ring simultaneously. We can change the ringing by moving the contact method through the timeline. And we can also increase the number of rings by stretching the contact methods. Now let's say Bob would like to receive more voicemail if he does not answer his mobile or his office phone within 60 seconds. What we do is we add a voicemail object, configure the component, and we add a email address to which the voicemail will be sent. We can record a message. Hi, this is Bob. Thanks for calling. Please leave a message. The file is now being uploaded to the server. And we can replay the message at any Hi, time. Hi, this is Bob. Thanks for calling. Please leave a message. And if we want, we can re-record the message. And simply with a click, we can connect a cable between Bob and Bob's voicemail. So we have a very, very quick, simple system, a telephone number going to Bob with both his mobile and his office numbers. And if Bob does not answer, it goes, the call goes to Bob's voicemail. For the next scenario, let's say that Bob takes on a partner, Pete, in the business. Now, Bob would like to configure his voice system so that if he does not answer his incoming calls, those calls should go to Pete before being sent to the voicemail. We add a person, Pete. Give him his name. It will, the call will go to Pete's mobile number. Contact method is mobile. And we cut the cable between Bob and his voicemail and reconnect it to Pete. So now the call goes from the telephone number to Bob. If Bob does not answer, it goes to Pete. And if Pete does not answer, it goes to Bob's voicemail. For the next scenario, let's say that the business is growing and Bob and Pete would like to implement a voice menu so that customers can choose to speak to either Bob or Pete. What we do is we add a voice, a voice menu object. And we configure that voice menu. A unique identifier. And we provide a message. Thank you for calling Bob and Pete Corporation. Press 1 for Bob and 2 for Pete. The message is now being uploaded to the server.
and we can play the message if we wish. Now we would like to add a corporate number and connect that number to the voice menu. We add the corporate number from a previously purchased number and we connect up to the voice menu. Now we connect the voice menu to both Bob and Pete. You'll notice that Bob is extension number one and Pete is extension number two. We can change those extension numbers by clicking on the number and let's say Pete should be number 300. We enter that number and Pete is now at extension number 300. We can rewire the objects at any time and the call flow will be updated immediately. So you click on the cable and then you move the cables from one object to another. Also note that there's a trash can in the bottom right hand corner that's used for deleting objects. If we don't need the Miami number any longer, we can put it in the trash can and the system is immediately updated. From this demonstration, you can see that it is very simple to use the advanced call forwarding platform. Yet the functionality and flexibility of this application provides you with the power to configure unlimited call handling scenarios for both personal and business uses.